In this question, we are given a matrix P that rotates a vector about the axis given by column vector 1, 1, 1 and we want to find by what angle this matrix rotates any given vector. Now, if you just want the answer to this question, we can get that answer in just one line. But this is actually very conceptual question and we can understand many concepts in solving this question. First thing to note is that the matrix P is an orthogonal matrix because columns of the matrix are orthonormal vectors. That is magnitude of each column vector is 1 and if I take dot product of any two column vectors, I get 0. In fact, rows of the matrix are also orthonormal vectors. So this matrix P actually is an orthogonal matrix. Now, as we know, orthogonal matrix represents rotation. And here we are also given the rotation about this axis. And interestingly, axes of rotation for a rotation matrix are its eigenvectors because we know that when we pre-multiply an eigenvector with the matrix, then there is no rotation of eigenvector. There is only scaling. That is P x equals to lambda x. So here if x is an eigenvector of matrix P, then when we pre-multiply that vector with matrix P, then we only get lambda or scalar into x. That is the length of vector x changes by factor lambda but there is no change in the direction of vector x and in fact we can pre-multiply our axis vector with this matrix so let's see what do we get 0 0 1 1 0 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 and this gives us 1 1 1 and note here lambda is 1 so this axis of rotation corresponds to eigenvalue lambda equals to 1 and it is an eigenvector. Now if we want to find the angle of rotation for this matrix P then we can take any vector which is perpendicular to this axis of rotation and pre-multiply that with matrix P and then find angle between original vector and the rotated vector and that will be the angle of rotation corresponding to our matrix P. So let's choose the vector is minus 1, 0, 1. I have taken this so that if I do dot product of this vector with our axis, then I get 0. And when we do dot product, we do addition of component wise multiplication. So the dot product of this vector and this vector will be 1 into minus 1 plus 1 into 0 plus 1 into 1. And that gives me minus 1 plus 1, that is 0. So this vector is perpendicular to our axis. Now let's find the rotated vector that will be 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, minus 1, 0, 1. That will give me 1, minus 1, 0. So this is my original vector and this is the rotated vector. And if angle between these two vectors is theta, then cos theta will be dot product of these two divided by magnitude of these two. So dot product of these two will be minus 1 into 1 plus 0 into minus 1 plus 1 into 0 divided by magnitude of original vector is square root of 2 and magnitude of rotated vector is also square root 2. So this implies cos theta equals to minus 1 by 2 and that implies theta equals to 120 degree. So our answer D is correct. Now if you want to find this answer in just one line then there is a formula that if we are given a rotation matrix then trace of that matrix is equals to 1 plus 2 cos theta. Here trace of P is sum of all the diagonal elements that is 0. So that implies 0 equals to 1 plus 2 cos theta that implies cos theta equals to minus 1 by 2 and that implies theta equals to 120 degrees. So again option D is correct.